on here. Now, I think part of what we discussed previous lesson, we getting that lead arm on the club in line. I think you sort of took it, Dixon, and sort of went a bit that way, okay. which kind of almost gets it a little bit high with that left arm there. Okay. And it's very hard then for this wrist on the left to hinge. Yeah. Hence why when your club went back, we discussed about getting flatter, which is the right thing you were trying to do, but you were doing it now. And at this point here, see the golf club is here. Yeah. There's no wrist hinge there at all. The club has basically been rolled with the forearm. Yeah. And once that club gets so far stuck behind you here, I mean, the club at this point now is almost almost flat to the ground, yeah? Back, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you couldn't... I mean, if you come back to golf ball now, you come back up here somewhere. Yeah. So you're missing the golf ball. So part of the, from here now to the top of the backswing, things have to start lifting up. And you can almost see as you start going in there, your head started moving a bit towards the golf ball, just yeah. falling down. Your arms now have done the lifting up and you've yeah, already predetermined yeah. that <laughs> over-the-top loop. So no one really in the... In all the golf I've seen, it gets to a perfect position, top of the batsman and goes, I'm going to the top for some reason. There's usually a reason why, and often it's a necessity. If they don't do that, they'll miss the golf ball. But the problem was, you were doing it too much, and your club was coming in to the shaft there, way outside the golf ball. Now, as you come into impact, catching the hosel of the golf club here, and just yeah, wow. shanks all days, yeah? So, that was the thing. So, putting the two tee pegs down here, as we can see, it's giving you some feedback. You make some swings, and this swing is a little bit on the slower side, okay? But top of the back swing, really, really good there. You can see the club now, it goes back. Still a little on the inside, but that's there, whereas previously it was kind of oh, way nice. behind yeah. you, yeah? So you're increasing the wrist inch. The club now kind of here has got a bit more of ankle down towards the golf ball. So therefore, when you come back to the golf ball now, that club's coming through the gate yeah. less over the top. Yes, that was a practice swing. Generally speaking, obviously, they're going to be a bit easier, aren't they? Okay, But no T-peg was hit in the process of this. Yeah, no T-pegs were killed in the process of this. Film. Yeah. But I think, yeah, getting a bit more of an angle there and out of there. If you don't want to get too locked okay. up with the arm, I think if your wrist is up there, you then got to try and almost... It's a massive manipulation. If you start okay. off here now, it's almost... More relaxed. It's, a bit pre, it's, a, it's almost a preset hinge before you start. And then, as you go back there now, the club now, we can see, is still behind as it will be for the next week two weeks probably even month or more because you've gone from being way behind here if we can move it from where it was to there to there to there yeah that might take four weeks per dot or yeah. a week per dot yeah? yeah it'll take you that time you're not going to suddenly go from there to there because yeah. you'll probably miss the golf ball if you went that much so it's got to be gradual but I think, as I say, when you get to the top of the backswing now and you've got the club in a better position, you don't need to see tipping quite so much. The club shaft, now as we come into impact, you can see now is a little bit... There you go. There's the shaft. It's kind of on the ball. It's still a bit over the top, but it's, yeah. at least you're finding it's club... Right yeah, you're finding club on back of ball. So the ball start a little bit left and you're a little bit of a fade. Yeah. It's playable, yeah? Yeah. I think doing the two T-peg drill, if we hit golf balls again on the mat there, if we're not hitting that outside T-peg, you know yeah. you struck it out of the middle-ish part of the club. Okay. So you've got a fighting chance there with that, okay? So, okay. yeah, get that club working back. You can imagine if you were doing that um, stick drill we did with the alignment sticks. Yeah. At that point in there now, is that stick on your leg? No. Exactly. Yeah. So really dr dr drill that over and over and over again to yeah. get that feel. Get yourself dialed in. Oh, okay, just up to hip height. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Don't go. Yeah, don't go more than basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah. even less than that. To be fair, we just just getting that there. We want to start trying to <laughs> scoop it up here. Yeah, you're yeah. better off probably not going too far than trying to go too far. Okay, that one, yeah. So, okay, Amazing. mate, makes awesome. sense. Good man. Very